Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear your cache in your Windows 11 system. So let's start. Now the first method that we are going to try is using disk cleanup window. So to open disk cleanup window, you just have to type disk cleanup in your Windows search bar and you can click open the app from here. Now here we will end up choosing the C drive as it is the drive that contain all the temporary files internet cache files and unnecessary program files that fill up your space and reduce the performance of your system. So selecting C drive, let's click on OK. It will pop up a window where you have to decide which files do you want to delete. So here you have to make sure that you are selecting this direct X shader cache as it will clear up your cache. So let's select this and let's go down and here I'll select recycle bin temporary files. Now if you can notice selecting these files I will free 36 MB of space on my computer. So selecting this much let's click on OK. It will prompt a confirmation window where you have to click on delete files. The process may take few minutes. Now I even have one more safe method to clear RAM cache in your Windows 11 system. For that we are gonna use Microsoft product that is RAM map. So to use RAM map you have to download the file. So let's open Google Chrome and here I'm going to search for RAM map and let's click on enter. From the search result you have to click on this Microsoft link as this is a Microsoft product it's really safe for your system. So to download RAM map let's click on this link. I will even provide this link in the description below so you can get it from there also. So now let's click on this download RAM map here. It will pop up a window where you can browse the location where you want to save this file and after browsing the location simply click on save. So let's go to the desktop. I have saved this file on the desktop. So here it is rammap.zip. To use this file we have to unzip it. So simply left click on this folder and from the obtain result you have to click on extract all. Here you can browse the location again where you want to unzip this. So I would simply keep it over here and I'll click on extract. So this is the extracted folder. Let's double click and open the folder. And here we have three executable file. So the file that we have to click is rammap.exe. It will open up a user account control window. You simply have to click on yes. And next it will open up a window which would provide you the license term. You simply have to click on agree. And this is the RAM map window now. Now before clearing the cache using RAM map, let us open task manager window so that I can show you how it clears the system cache. So let's open the task manager. You simply left click on the taskbar and here you have to click on task manager. In task manager window, you have to click on performance and here you have to click on memory. Now if you can notice, I have 9 GB of cache. So let's use RAM map and clear this cache. So this is my cache size and this is the RAM map window. Here you have to click on empty tab and here you have to click on empty standby list. So when I click on this option, you have to observe this figure how it comes down. So I'm clicking on this empty standby list and if you can notice the cache has been reduced to let's say 50 MB. This figure will go on changing as the cache files are continuously created on our system. But the thing that we have to notice that the cache figure which was earlier 9 GB has reduced to MBs. Now you don't have to uninstall this tool. You simply keep it on your system and whenever required, you simply open this window, click on empty, click on this empty standby list and it's gonna reduce your cache figure. So that's how you can reduce your system cache or your RAM cache. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more Windows 11 videos, please subscribe this channel. It will notify you when any new video comes out. Feel free to comment below what other new videos would you like to see in future. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next. Bye-bye.